Hello and welcome to the TechSource.tv. Today it is How To Tuesdays, a weekly show um, on the TechSource.tv we have going on. It's just on how to videos and we do this every Tuesday. All right, so the very first How To Tuesday video is how to backup windows using easy transfer. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple, hence the name easy transfer. And it's probably one of the best ways to backup windows. Um, maybe just your data, it's just your data, none of your software, but it gets a lot of your data and it's an easy way to get going again and it saves a lot of your bookmarks and things like that. So how do you use Easy Transfer? Well, you have to have Windows Vista win or Windows 7. Now, um, with these Windows Easy Transfer, you can go from uh, this, you can upgrade from Vista to X, from, uh, from XP to 7, you can go from uh, Vista to 7, or you can go from Vista to Vista, and Vista and 7 to 7. Now, if you're using Easy Transfer 7, which is the newest version, you can only upgrade. So you can only go 7 to 7, and you can only go Vista to 7, or you can go XP to 7. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to pick up the soft, if you if you, you have uh, Vista and you want to upgrade to seven, just go to just search Easy Transfer Seven. You can download the latest version. Download if 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on your system. And same thing for XP because XP doesn't have it at all, so you have to download it and install it. So I'm on a Windows Seven base machine. It's 64-bit, and we're gonna go run Windows Easy Transfer. So to do it, we're gonna go down to Start. We're gonna type in the uh, search here. We're gonna type in Easy, right here, Easy Transfer, and it opens up. And here, this is what you're gonna get transferred. User accounts, so all your user accounts or whatever ones you've selected will copy. Your email folder, if you have like Outlook or something like that, will be copied. All your internet favorites. Now, this is excluding, uh, it will copy uh, Firefox and IE, but it will not copy Chrome because Chrome's just weird. And it, for some reason, it just doesn't get backed up. Um, and it will copy anything, basically it'll copy everything out of your user account and anything else you specify. So, uh, let's go next. And you can use it. You can, if you have two PCs and you have the actual Easy Transfer cable, you can transfer between the two computers using a USB cable. You can throw this on a network if you have a network uh, drive or another computer on your network, or you can use an external drive. So I'm using an external drive. Uh, now, depending on what, com depending if this is your new computer or old computer, this is my old computer. Now, when you're using uh, XP and Vista, it'll only have the option. If you're using Easy Transfer 7, it will only have the option. This is my old PC. But uh, let's say this is my old image. We're gonna click, this is my old image. Right now it's gonna scan, now this takes a while. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna scan all my files and um, right here. And since I have done it recently, um, it's not gonna take too long, I hope. It's gonna take a while on this. So we're gonna hit customize. We're gonna go to advanced. And when you do go into the advanced, you can, as it, as it shows, you can really customize everything. So what do we want backed up? Well, I got my whole C drive already all selected, so it's got, it's got administrator, Dan, uh, you know what, I don't want the administrator folder backed up, so we'll, we'll deselect that. Uh, we got the Dan folder, which is my folder, and we got Publix, we got all my public stuff. So under Dan, we have everything. We have my uh, app data, contacts, desktop. So this will save your background, everything that we have your desktop set up. Uh, downloads folder, favorites, links. Uh, we don't, don't have that backed up, because there's nothing in there. Uh, music, if there is anything in there, it will back it up. So even all your, so, for example, iTunes saves, it's, it's where all your libraries, basically where all your music is stored, there's a libraries file in there. It stores it in that music folder. So basically because all my hard drives, um, all my, everything I keep is stored on a separate hard drive because I use an SSD. Um, basically just by slapping that folder back, that file back on and reinstalling iTunes, boom, I don't even have to re-add all my music, which is awesome. Um, so I got my pictures folder, Riot Games, blah, 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 save games. And yeah, all your save games say like, uh, games that do use the actual Windows save game folder will be backed up and everything in my documents, so all your save games in there will be backed up as well. Uh, so moving along, we got the public folder which is backed up and then uh, the shared files is which will back up anything other, uh, other things other than just your profile. So it wants to back up all my other hard drives and I don't want it to do that, so we're gonna uncheck that. So that's a definite must. If you have multiple hard drives, make sure you uncheck that. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna hit save. So now my easy transfer backup is only 2.3 gig. Now keep in mind, it does compress it. So this actually turns out to be 1.8 gig. So we're gonna move on. If you can add a password if you want, I usually don't. So we can hit save and we're gonna pick where we wanna save it. So my backup drive is, I think it's this one. Yes, this is this one here. So I got my folder here. There's my old easy transfer. It turned out to actually be 1.1 1. 1, uh, 1 gigs. Point. And now I'd hit save. Um, you know what, I'll make a new folder, call this, actually, you know what, I'll just rename this one as today's date. So we'll do easy transfer mold computer, uh, nine underscore 26, 
underscore 2011. Save, and away it goes. So that doesn't take very long to back up. And um, yeah, that's it. And then once it's done, you hit next, and then you're gonna hit finish, and that's it. It's all done. Then after that, um, if there's anything else you'd like to back up, so in a later video, we're gonna show you how to back up like, you know, Steam applications and Steam games. And um, pretty much after that, it's just a matter of reinstalling Windows. After Windows is installed, launch Easy Transfer, pop in the, if you have this saved on a drive or on a disc, pop in the disc, load Easy Transfer, or you can even just double click on the Easy Transfer save file. And um, it will uh, automatically start restoring everything. You can tell exactly what you want restored. And uh, and yeah, so that's, it's pretty easy. It works really well. All your icons in your desktop, even where you left them. So if you had like crap all over the place, so you just had stuff all over the place and you're a disorganized mess. So you had things like that. It will actually be like that, which is pretty awesome. Um, your background and the colors and stuff like that will be saved. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Hence the name, as I said multiple times, it works It works an amazing, simple tool built in the Windows that I really enjoy and it saves me a lot of time when coming to the back of my PC. Because after it's done, all you need to do is reinstall applications and a lot of the settings for your applications are already saved. So that saves a lot of time even on setting up applications such as uh, iTunes and re-adding all your music and all your playlists too, because all your playlists are actually saved and even the play counts, which is pretty awesome. So we're almost done here. It's actually a really fast tool too. Uh, depending on how big your backup is, it may take longer. Um, and you do need, need to make sure you do have enough space to back this up. But uh, definitely from moving to different system to system or you are upgrading to a new system, this is a really good way to back up your system. And you don't lose any of your documents or in your downloads folders, so which is great. So you can make a folder with all your drivers and then put the easy transfer backups to restore it and you have all your new drivers right there and you just need to launch and install your drivers. So there you go. So our easy transfer backup is complete. Shows uh, our three profile, our two profiles, and our shared items are now uh, backed up. We're going to click next. It says it is now done. It tells me where it's been saved to. It says the name here, and um, it says you sh I should write down the location, but I don't need to. And there we go. You can uh, now continue the process on your new computer, and you close it. There you guys go. So um, this was our quick look on how to uh, basically how to back up your PC using Easy Transfer. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. And if you'd like to see more How To Tuesdays videos, um, definitely be sure to check back next Tuesday. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you again next time.